Today we're going to make a New York style calzone or calzone. I'm using the same exact pizza dough that we used in the regular New York round and the grandma pizza and this New York Sicilian pizza. So right there, it's 345 grams. With this amount of dough, you can make two nice sized calzones. You can make one huge calzone. Uh, or you can make four small calzones. In episode one of the New York Rounds, we did the whole pizza steel. I showed you how to season it. I also gave you an option if you don't wanna go through that, just to buy your own. It's gonna cook a lot, lot better on a steel. That being said, you can also do this in a pan. It will just take a little bit longer. You won't quite get that bottom. Also, we're going to make a sauce for this. Sauce is critical. You wanna dip your calzone in there. Basically, a New York calzone always has a couple ingredients. You gotta have regatta, and we'll talk about which regatta works better, which one I don't recommend, but let's make the sauce first. So I'm going to use Scofani crushed tomatoes. These are our go-to for pizza sauce. I've been using them a lot lately. I probably use them more than the San Marzano tomatoes. For that one can, I'd say about four cloves of garlic is going to be good here. But feel free to use a lot more if you like garlic. Get the heat down, medium low to low. While that's going, just get your tomatoes. If you use regular whole plum tomatoes, just hand crush them, or if you want it's just a smooth sauce, just blend or pulse them. Uh, rarely do I add sugar to any of my sauces. Scofani, you don't, really, you don't need sugar. They're very sweet, good quality crushed tomato. But you know, taste it. Just because one, one of these was good doesn't mean the next one will be. They, they could be picking them and they didn't pick a right, it's a bad batch or anything like that. Put a little hot pepper in there. If you want, if you don't want it, don't use it. All right, I'm gonna put those tomatoes in. And just bring this sauce to a simmer, about five minutes worth, maybe, maybe 10 minutes of cooking. Give it a little taste when you like it, then we'll move on to making, shaping the dough, making the calzone. And these quick sauces are like, they're the exact opposite of a Sunday gravy or a Sunday sauce. So a Sunday sauce would be the meat, whether it's sausage, brajol, meatballs, anything like that, pork, would really, really flavor it. It would dominate the tomato flavor. So for this, the garlic is like the dominant flavor here with the tomato. They're both delicious and it just really depends which one you're in the mood for. Each tomato brand will have a little bit different sodium level, so make sure you kind of taste it yourself to know how much you want to put in. And that's so good, so quick, literally four or five minutes. All right, I'm going to take it off. So remember, again, oven's on, preheated for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I have my steel, I have my oven at 525. I have mozzarella cheese right here. This is already grated, polio part skim. Part skim has less water. You want to avoid having too much water inside there so it doesn't all explode. Sometimes they do explode regardless. This is Galbani regatta. And Galbani is a lot drier than Palio. And I recommend you use a drier regatta, no matter what brand you use. If you do use Palio, you're probably better off draining that Palio regatta uh, overnight. Palio is great for like baked ziti and a lasagna or anything like that where you kind of want to add moisture. You want enough moisture in it. For things like this and even for like a white pizza, it can be a little too much. We're going to make two calzones. We'll do a plain one and then we'll do a ham one. Right here I have boar's head ham. This is boar's head boiled ham. So this is really good stuff. Boar's head is great, great cold cuts. And you know, if you live in this area of the country, you'll know boar's head for sure. You can use prosciutto, you can use salami, really anything you want. If you use sausage, like nice slices of sausage, make sure your sausage is already cooked. It won't cook in time if you're using raw sausage in the calzone. So my table's clean and it's ready to go. I'm just gonna prepare it right here. I have a wooden peel here. This is the wooden peel I've been using in a lot of my videos. I also have some other ones. You can launch the calzone from the peel or you could just lift it in there. And just so it moves again, I have semolina flour here. I use this for when I'm launching pizzas in the oven and I'm gonna put it on, on this wooden peel here. This is the metal peel. This is really the one that we take the calzone out of off the steel with. You launch with the wooden peel, you remove it with the metal peel. So there's a dough ball. Ah. 
I'm just gonna divide this in half right away. So it's easier when you start with a circle. So if you were gonna make this into one whole calzone, it would be easier to shape, but we'll be all right if we do this. Try to bring it back a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna start pushing it down with my fingers. And this doesn't matter about keeping a rim here or anything like for a regular pizza. So that makes it, that makes it a little bit easier. Pull it a little bit off. Dough's a little cool right now still. Should have been warmed up a little bit more. All right, I'm just gonna stretch a little bit with my knuckles or even my fingers because it's very small. You can connect that spot a little bit if you need to, that broken spot with a little bit of water, pressing it together, it will probably connect. Okay, this is pretty good right here like this. And there's our size right there. So it's about an eight inch, eight inch circle. I'm gonna cover that with plastic and then prepare the other one. This one's a little bit better. Not as, not, I think I have a little bit more dough here. I don't know if I, if I divided them equally. Let's try to keep a circle as best you can because we're gonna be folding over to make that half moon. Basically, instead of dividing that, I should have just made it one really big one or started with smaller dough balls. All right, so here we are. We'll do the, do the regular cheese one first. I'm just gonna put a little bit of regatta in the middle, not too much. Not that much, which is probably a couple ounces. Pecorino Romano. About that much, couple, couple teaspoons, tablespoon. Put a little bit of salt and pepper in here. You don't really have to do that much salt because the pecorino is salty, but you know, you do have the regatta that doesn't have much flavor. So a little bit. And then here's the mozzarella. I'm kind of just gonna ball it up. Get it right in the center. Okay, and then just fold over. Take anything like a spoon, anything hard, and just really, really press down a lot here. Flip it over. And do the same thing on the other side. I even like to take a little bit of water here. A lot of times they just, they'll open up anyway, but you can clean this up, the edges, if you want. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Sometimes when you clean it up, it has a tendency to come through. If you get a good fold, you can just clean it up. All right, so I'm just gonna cover this one, which it's, it's fine like this right now, and then we'll work on We'll work on the other one. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ham here. I'm gonna use like probably three pieces. This, this is sliced very thin. Regatta again, maybe a little bit less this time. Instead of the mozzarella, you could put some provolone in there too. You could try. Uh, you really should have regatta. I mean, it's really not a calzone if you don't have it. But I mean, if you don't have it, what's really going in there then? It'll just be flat and it'll be a massive air pocket when it cooks because everything will just will just sit sit at the bottom. A little salt again. A little bit of oregano in this one. Pecorino. Okay, and the mozzarella. I'm gonna boil it up again. Really boil it up and stick it right there. All right, same thing. I'm gonna fold it all over. See, like that's opening. It's opening right there. I don't want that to happen. Just gotta get it right off the edge. Just gonna just tilt it in right into the oven. I'm gonna cut a little wine in it. A little wine on both of them and a little bit of olive oil on top. Right, I'm just gonna do one at a time even though they both can be put in there. Gonna be about eight minutes, maybe just kind of like when it looks done, it's done. It's not, it's not gonna be exact for your oven. So set your stopwatch, set your timer, set it for about six, 
to keep an eye on it. If your oven's a little uneven, you can just kind of use your metal peel and you can turn it. So these both came out perfect. I mean, this one, this one opened up a little bit. This is the regular cheese one. This is the ham one right here. They both went for six minutes and 30 seconds. Let me show you the bottoms of them. Okay, that's a really good looking bottom. Now, this has, this has this odd shape here because that's where I connected it after I split the dough ball. Same thing, that's a great looking bottom. Whoop. And that, <laughs> that's really hot right now. So what I recommend you do is before you eat them, let them sit for about five, maybe maybe even like eight minutes before you cut into them. Everything will solidify more. So yeah, that's oozing out right now. If you can see that, definitely let it sit a little bit longer than that. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm, that is so good. And it's oozing out a lot, even with the Galbani. The polio is, is wetter and a lot of times it will, it will ooze out even more. So when it stops oozing out so much, take your sauce and dip in there. Mm, that sauce is amazing too. This is exactly how you get it when you order it from a pizzeria in New York. I'm sure it's done different in Italy, but this is duplicating and everything on this channel is about duplicating the food that is from New York. So, and New Jersey and you know Connecticut, you know what I mean. We're gonna do a lot more where we're using a steel. I really encourage you, if you don't wanna go through the process of doing it yourself like I did, and remember, that'll save you a ton of money. You could do the whole thing for $25. If you don't wanna do that, buy yourself a 16 by 16 steel plate. You can look on Amazon. Uh, I have a link in the description for one. I think it's a 14 by 16. You can find another company. You can even go to a steel place. There's a variety of options, but once you get it, it truly is a game changer. It's a million times better than a pizza stone, and it's a billion times better than using a, just a baking sheet in your oven. I can't stress that enough. I've been cooking my whole life, and every time I'm making this now, I am amazed at how good it is. The next pizzeria I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna have to drive into L&B Spumoni and to get their pizza just simply because I want to try my hand at, at making it. But that's going to be probably the first pizza that I buy in a very long time. And when I go out there, I'll probably buy, probably buy two of the pies so I can really, really test it. But I love doing this. It's probably the most, most fun I have on this channel is anything that involves the pizza. So let me know any other ones that you want me to make and I, and I will definitely do it. I'll see you next time.